Welcome, Brainers. I've tried so many ways to transfer movies, songs, and files from a Windows PC to an iPhone. But one method I always trust and use again and again, the official Apple Devices app. In this video, I'm going to show you how simple it is to set up and transfer any file you want step by step. All right, let's get started. First, open the Microsoft Store on your Windows PC. Search for Apple Devices. It's completely free and comes directly from Apple Inc. Please go ahead and install it. Once it's installed, connect your iPhone to your PC using your USB cable. You'll see a pop-up on your iPhone asking if you trust this computer. Just tap Trust and enter your passcode if prompted. Once you connect your phone, you may see this internal storage pop up in the PC, but it won't help much for our need because it's read only. You can use it to download some files from your iPhone, but you cannot transfer files to your iPhone with it. Now, please open the Apple Devices app. For the very first time, you will see this license screen. Just agree it accordingly. Click on Start. You should see your iPhone being recognized at the top. From the left side panel, select Files. You should now see your iPhone apps that support file transfer. For the best experience, I suggest installing VLC and Documents on your iPhone from the App Store. These two are completely free and reliable. After these apps are installed, you might need to reconnect your phone. Once everything's in place, please click on VLC. Down below, you'll see the Add File button. Use it to pick the files you want to transfer. You can even drag and drop files here if that's your preference. Depending on the file size, it might take a little while, so be patient. Unfortunately, there is no transfer progress, but you will see the file being activated, which is grayed out currently. As you can see, the transfer is now complete. Let's check the iPhone. Please open VLC and go to video. And here you go. The movie we transferred is ready on my iPhone. You can even use VLC to transfer songs. In that case, it will go into the audio section. Pretty cool, isn't it? The Documents app is even more versatile because it supports almost all types of files, videos, audios, images, PDFs, etc. The process is similar with one simple trick to note. Add the file that you would like to transfer. Back on your iPhone, open the Documents app. Here's the trick you must remember. These files we added will appear in the Cable Imports folder. Perfect, I can see all my files. Before closing the video, I want to share one more tip. Please remember, as far as the iPhone is concerned, the files are attached to the storage area specific to each app. That means the files you added in VLC or Documents are only accessible within that app. However, you can use the Share option to copy files between different apps on your iPhone. I hope you found this helpful. Please give this video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button for more useful tips and tricks. Thanks for watching.